Hey everybody, it's Broken Champion. Welcome back to more Let's Play Time Splitters Future Perfect for the Xbox. In the last episode, we did the Russian Connection, the third level of the campaign. This episode, we're going to do the Kalos Express, level numero quattro of DOS campaign. And this whole level takes place on a train. Run, Vin Diesel, run! Don't just shrug. What's he gonna do? Okay, that's an option. Now you're gonna have to jump pretty far there, Vin Diesel. Let's see if you are actually black. Oh, look, you are. Kinda? Okay, yeah, you're black. Good. Thanks. No problem, man. Man. Let's go. Look at my veins popping out of my neck and my my forehead region. My five head. My name is Vin Diesel and my head is large. I like how I just think that it's Vin Diesel. It's like, I don't even know who Sergeant Cortez is. Yeah, that was a good way to get rid of somebody. Let's push him out of a speeding train. Okay, cool. So you start out with this gun. It has the same attachment as uh, the one the last level. Oh, he kind of fell to the. Okay. Okay. The thing about this is you have to transition from car to car, and it gets kind of annoying after a while. So do bitches shooting at you. They get annoying too. Okay. Now you gotta take care of these guys down here. I suggest you stay up here instead of going down there to shoot at them. Wow, I shot to his right the entire time. Just like the last level, Tippy the Hippie here isn't going to be much help to you, so I suggest you proceed with caution. Get out of my way. I don't want to shoot you in the hand. Shut up. Where's that last guy? Nowhere. Right there. No, he's dead. Okay. So progress. Handle with care. Fragile. This end up. <laughs> Fragile. Anybody remember... I seriously doubt you do, but there's an old episode of Rugrats where these two movers are moving in boxes uh, into the Pickles house, and one of them drops the box, and you hear a shatter, followed by him going, Hey, Bill, what does fragile mean? And that that's something I expect, like, in the 2000s, not in the 90s. People weren't that stupid yet. Okay, come to the store. We are proceeding to lunch site. Prepare to <laughs> I like how I shoot him like twice and he turns around and he still acts like I haven't even shot him yet. Okay, so come in here and you get machine gun. There we go. MP5. Hey man, I can use this radio to warn my people. Okay. Don't try to reach the missile. I'll catch up. Okay, so we, you're gonna get taken out of the story. Cool. There's a door here. Door here. Talking about Tippy or the dude who's taking a dump? Ew. <laughs> That's one thing I love about this game, though. It has so many of those awkward moments. Like, what? What did he say? Shit. No, it can't be. It's a freaking helicopter and it was shooting at me. Usually that's never good in my book. Okay, good. Now, these little rooms here. Oh yeah, she's the one that came out of the bathroom. Ah, that's funny. Turn on the sink. Turn on the toilet. And this thing. Anybody know what this thing is? Is that a trash can? Like a very, very poorly crafted trash can? And speaking of very poorly crafted, this is a very good reflection of me in the mirror right here. Uh. So yeah, here we are on the Hogwarts Express. Anybody else excited for the new Harry Potter coming out? Uh. I kind of am. I'm not sure if I'm going to go see it or not. Now there is some health there. There's also some body armor in one of these. Quit shooting at me, asshole. Body armor. There we go. Body armor's in the very last one, in case you just want to skip over to it. There's another toilet here. This is hardly the time. Shut up. I gotta take a dump. You cannot save the world on a full bladder slash... Uh, 
colon. Not full colon. You know what I mean. You can't do something. Any, you can't do anything important. Any guy out there knows you cannot do anything important if you have to take a dump. And okay, you gotta pretty much break those boxes with your guns. You pretty much have to finish them off that way. And you come over here and hit this button and this uh, these ground to air rockets will totally destroy that helicopter and that helicopter sucks and it explodes into a million pieces and then you can come over here climb this ladder then you're going to get confronted by a bunch of people playing hide and go seek with you this is not time to play kitty games I'm trying to save the world chopper 2 chopper 2 chopper 2 Oh yeah, okay, that's actually a good way you can take care of that. Instead of shooting them, you can empty the barrels of oil, and then shoot that propane tank there, and it will kind of torch everybody, but I think I got them all. Ah, uh, no, it doesn't look good. Ah, running away. Oh shit, what's up, dude? I didn't know you were chilling right there, behind a box. Hey, it's me, it's Vin Diesel. I tell you, he's in a lot of shit, man. Oh shit, Soviet rival. Cool. Quit shooting him. See that little glazy effect right there? That's what happens when your future self gets shot. I'm trying to take care of the guards, man. Got, got, got. There's two guards to take care of, and they keep popping up. Apparently, this train is just full of people that are trying to shoot myself in the future. Die, 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 die. Okay, good. So he took out, he had these cool kick-ass rockets, and he took out the chopper that was shooting at me. Bye, chopper. Ah! Then you have flaming enemies as the screen gyrates and vibrates. And I'm almost out of Soviet rifle ammo. Can I have some more, somebody? Soviet rifle ammo? Explosion can only mean one thing. Harry Tipper. Patty Dipper. I'm actually going to use my machine gun here with one shot in it. Why did it have one ammo? And I'm going to switch over to Soviet. Good, 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 good. That's one thing about this. This is so cool. You can just... Wow, this is such a guy's room. I know, right? It has guns everywhere. You can just... Oh, yeah, tactical 12 gauge. New weapon. You can just load all your weapons, and instead of reloading, you can just switch from weapon to weapon, and they're all loaded. And that's just one of the best strategies in any shooting game I've ever seen. I'm experiencing some lag. Hey, bud. Shot you. This tactical 12 gauge right here, it kind of contradicts the name because it only holds eight shots total uh, that you can shoot, obviously. But. Oh, hey, a portal. Hey, look. This isn't Valve. Yeah, this must be where I jump back. Cortez. Don't do that. I know time paradox. I'll be careful. Don't Wait. do that. What? It's there's so cartoony. No oh. Yeah, there's yeah. no train there, dumbass. Maybe just like the guy at the very beginning that got thrown out. Cortez, you've got to hurry. Whoa. I'm hurrying. <laughs> I kind of got Oompa Loompas on my back. Oompa Loompas with night vision. Why do all the Oompa Loompas have night vision? Bam! Cortez, the train. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, jump, Vin Diesel. Whee! That was seamless. I know what I'm doing. Just be careful. Yeah, be careful. See these guys right here? I kind of have to kill them now. Gat. 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 Oh, how'd that not hit you? Gat. There we go. Okay, so now you got to come through here. Now you're on the train that you saw the other Cortez on earlier. So pick up these two, or one, uh, package of rockets. And then you come over here and get the heat seeker. And then, of course, you seek the heat. So now your roles are reversed. The other Cortez is going to defend you from the uh, guards, the Oompa Loompas above you. And then you get to shoot the chopper down. And it takes, what, three shots that was? Yeah, that's nothing. Boom. And you can shoot him without lock-on, too, which I find really cool. I haven't been able to get very creative with that, but it's still fun to do. And now he's going to do... Now Vin Diesel's going to do his best imitation of a parkour expert. See, even I can do that, I think. I mean, I don't have really much upper body strength, so I probably couldn't do this right there. But other than that, I think I get up there. 
I won't sell myself short. I am six foot two, so I, I think I'd be able to get up there. Huh, look at my suntan glasses. Wow. Yeah, really. Look where I am. He just jumped through a window from one speeding train to another. Hey, get out of here. I'm taking a freaking dump. Or tinkle. Whatever. Point is, you shouldn't be... Okay, gotta go this way. Would you leave me alone? You too, bitch. I like how the, all the women have lipstick. Very thick lipstick, by the way. Or some of them do, at least. Okay, now I gotta find the health and the... Uh, that is not health. That is a newspaper. With a car on it. Kalos again. Yes. Again. This is the past. Dude! I'm just looking for health. Here it is. Is that it? No, that is luggage. I do not want your panties and hats. I want this right here. Can I get it? Oh, don't tell me the thing freaking glitched and I have to... Dude! Okay, let me try to back up. Really, game? I don't have any grenades. I can't... Wow. So I'm going to have to go without the health. That is not health. That is, again, luggage. Well, fuck. Go away. Nobody in there taking a dump. Oh, well, I think I can do it without the health. I might be able to. These dual machine guns really, really help, I swear. Is there anything over here? No. There's a door that I can open. Oh yeah, actually I'm supposed to wait because there's a guy over there I can shoot at and he kind of goes away. Isn't this the place where... Yeah, I'm about to say, here he is. Hippy the Tippy. Or Tippy the Hippy. Wait, what? Did you see that? He just kind of glitched. Huh? Why are you humping the air? <sighs> Never mind. Door, door. Harry Tipper could be here any minute. I know he's our sworn enemy, but he. Hey, you! How did you see me? I was behind a wall. Shit! Get back, Harry! Dude, I'm reloading t one. I'm reloading two guns one at a time. What are you doing? Are you shooting through the wall? Wow! Collision detection, and I can't get past him either. Nice shooting in the air, Tex. Did I miss the point? No, you're missing the enemies though. die. Is there any health over here? No. Here's a drunk guy. Hey, buddy. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, so the thing, two things about this room. One, there's a slideshow over here playing for whatever reason, and the slides being shown are actually uh, still shots of levels that you've yet to encounter all the levels left in the game pretty much and they're kinda interesting I don't want to spoil too much so I'm not really gonna stand here after that one there you go okay and this over here listen to this this is hilarious Cortez you're mankind's last hope for survival and you're playing a slot machine <laughs> dude I'm gonna play a freaking slot machine hang on oh give me third cat oh I wanted three times the pussy. Okay. Okay, I experimented with this in my off-screen playthrough, and I got all three callous, callous heads, which is, according to this, the highest scoring thing. I got all three, and it lit up, and it made noises and crap, but it didn't give me anything. So I'm going to just assume that it doesn't matter. Uh, I just reached a checkpoint, thankfully. Damn it! <laughs> this is the anti-suntan room. They're not letting any light in. Dun 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 with his robot cat. Either that cat is a robot or it has it's it's on it's tweaking. And you brought a big muscular friend. And he has an eye patch. Why does everybody have eye accessories? Oh yes. I can only assume you fed your darling kitten Celeste. And why does he have I'm a ceiling fan strapped on his back? At the moment, 
But don't fret. I have a feeling we'll be running into her shortly. <laughs> but first, <laughs> it's time. time to get out my big weapon. Ew. Okay, that cat is a robot. That's right. Unfortunately, I won't be around to watch it blast off. That's so punny. And neither will you. And that's a really interesting statue. Okay, so what he does there... Green gas, yes I know. Okay, he pushes over that really erotic statue and you have to just use your hand thingy and uh, put it back. I could have sworn there's a way to get into this safe right here, but I guess not. Is there health around here? I really hope there's... Or no, he gets into it. Ah, old J2000 home banker. I'll have this baby open in no time. Well, you do that. I'm going to look for health. I actually know what I'm going to do, which is really fun. Bam. <laughs> Strudel. The Kitte. K-I-T-T-E-H. Kitte. He is a robot Kitte. Open the door, please. Kitte said door open. How do I open the door? I forget. Okay, well, anyway, this is a Kitte mobile kind of thing. And, uh... Oh, hey, look what's in there. Kick ass. Can I have it, please? I'll just walk up to it. That works. I don't care as long as I get it. Uh, is the door open? No, the door's not open. What do I have to do to open the door? I forget. Is it that? No. Is it that? No, how do I get the door open? I was not having problems with this in my play in my other playthrough. And where did what's his face go? Oh there he is. What's up, Tippy? Um Is it the cat? <laughs> the cat Kitty said door open. The fuck? Um is it this thing? Is it this? No. Hey, Tippe. Come on with me. Come here. Come here, then. Butthole. Speaking of butthole, I get the doors locked. I want to use the kitte. Oh. Okay, I'm just going to blast the door. I don't even care. That's obviously not what I'm supposed to do. <sighs> okay, hang on. Oh, wow. <sighs> of course, there's a freaking lever right there that I don't even see. Totally forgot it was there. Okay, I don't even care anymore. I don't even care. Get past the rocket, go through here. Take out more of these guards. Meh. And you gotta come over here to this little panel thing. It gives you a time limit right there at the very top. And what you have to do is you have to connect the blue and the green uh, little strands together. Ten seconds. Oh, shut up. You're really putting pressure on me. Uh... Okay, good. Thank God. The only, the only one you won't use is the one in the bottom right corner. Jeez. Nice to put pressure on me, you woman. Jeez. You can press this... You can open this over here too, but I'm not sure what it does. I don't think it does anything, actually, to be honest. And then there's some suit of armor right under this table that you might want to grab for this final fight. <clears throat> because what you do now is you climb up to this, and Tippy the Hippie doesn't want to help you out because he's an asshole. And then you're going to encounter, after you make it a ways down here, freaking Kalos and his ceiling fan jetpack. And you just gotta pretty much unload on him, which is my. Those are my favorite bosses, to be honest. Just bosses where you can just completely unload on them. There's no certain way to to hurt them. All you gotta do, you know what I mean? There's no fancy anything. Just shoot the shit out of them. I love that. Well, all we gotta do now is stop this train before we run over Yep, we do. So we gotta get to the very t front of it. I almost said top of it. Front of it. I don't think there are any more enemies either, so I can just shoot any gun that I want to. Okay, so this is the very end of the level, uh, and like I always say, I'm going to end it right here. On the next episode, we're going to do the next uh, level in the campaign, and we unlock new characters. See you later, guys.